Hello, my friends. John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Boxing. And in this episode, we're going to look at the expansion for Distilled called Cask Strength. Let's see what we have inside here. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you have, I do really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So this is a small little expansion, but I really enjoy Distilled. And so Cask Strength was kind of a foregone conclusion that I was going to pick it up once I heard about it. <clears throat> it is... Basically, it said it, it introduces a little bit more of a variable market. It also replaces the, come on, replaces the ingredients that you get from the premium ingredient deck and you substitute ones in that are a little more expensive. Come on, I'm going to struggle with this thing. Okay, and, um, but a little bit more point value, a little more complex. And then there are a couple more distillation upgrade cards in there not too many all right and it said it's fully compatible with whatever's in whatever you do with the solo but they suggest that you add a few more points to things i'm really mangling this up okay there we go so here we are a little deck let's take a look that's funny so just unwrap the shrink wrap deck now i'm gonna unwrap the shrink wrap deck again here we go that's going to be easier. Let's look at some of these cards, shall we? So here we have a collector. So this one says once per market phase may purchase a premium bottle from the truck. So that's kind of cool. A moonshiner during the distilled phase may choose to make moonshine, even if the distilled spirit stack includes one or more sugars. And then forklift during the market phase may make up to two purchases per turn instead of one. Ooh. That's interesting. <clears throat> so you might be able to square away some other stuff before people get it and grab it. And then may sell, this one, cask sales, may sell an aged spirit in the same round it is distilled. Do not add a bottle and the barrel must be discarded. So it's kind of like you sell the whole barrel, which is cool. So then we've got some different flavors in here. And then here is the variable stuff with the market. So I can see here that you've got Anything with this icon goes up in price. Anything with this icon goes down. And then here's where you get additional sales. So if you sell something to the region in the Americas, for instance, you'd get two extra dollars and one, etc. So that's kind of cool. They're going to vary it up a little bit, which shouldn't really add to the complexity, but just changes things. All right. So a bunch of those cards. Now, let's see what we have here. So all of these are supposed to be more expensive. And I can see that right now, premium barley being $5 here. Um, but it says when selling, earn $1 for each other um, grain card, including that. So there's some different st stuff there. Same deal. Here's the corn. Uh, when selling, gain one point for each other corn. So you got that. Or I shouldn't say corn, but other grain. So yeah, each of these seems to be a little more pricey, but they do some different stuff there. So it'll be an easy change for me just to kind of swap that out, put those in. And then they give you three cards here that just tell you the rules and that's it, which I already read. So that's why I'm giving you a description. The card quality is good. Everything feels like it did from the base game. So no real difference there. So yeah, that's the, st the, uh, the size of it. Thanks so much everybody for watching. You know, I really appreciate it. And whatever you decide to do in the future, I really hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy now.